congratulations to all grand subscribers another good news another good news another good news guys listen to what was said in this vn and then uh, let's uh continue this conversation in the comment section appreciate you guys for stopping by and bye for now uh long awaited and expected grant um that is uh the good news to happen to nigerians uh, yes over the past week we've seen some uh, level of uh, insurrections coming from different quarters uh, uh, of people that are sworn avowed enemies of aposuken uwakama just trying as much as possible to bring him down but you see i want to believe something that there is no way they can bring this man down he has a mandate he has so to that effect that is uh, is committed to bring peace when it comes to the grant called uaag is a grant meant to foster peace to the masses to nigerian masses who had subscribed to this uh, intervention uh, and i want us to know that in the middle of all this even on the way to canaan there were a lot of bickering a lot of issues that came up that a whole lot i think the bible made us to understand over two million came out of egypt but only two got there the bible said with many of them god was not well pleased their mind was on canaan but their eyes was back on egypt so a whole lot of individuals raise up allegations in the wilderness like the company of data Korah and abraham you know and we knew what happened to them for the first time in the history of mankind the ground clave under them open its mouth and swallow that company because they also brought up some insurrections against the god called man moses and i think something of this nature is happening at this time where we have conspirators people with back and black and bad mind just wanting the best for themselves alone that is evil wanting the fund for themselves alone and their families and their generations unborn and that is wickedness that's callousness you know so we have some level of warning coming from ostracum also telling us uh, some hideous uh, acrimonies that are under uh, under the siege that we never knew things about that is coming that is happening but all the same we need to understand that the truth will prevail the truth will prevail and now we got an intel that they are scared. Ostracom said they are scared. Now fear is on all, all of, is, is all over the place. Fear is on every side from the haters of uh, Professor Ambassador Ken Wakama. By his haters, they are scared. You need to just listen to this commentary for you to know that they have to be scared because something is about to happen. All right, it is titled, They Are Now Afraid. <laughs> I think that is interesting. They are now afraid. You heard me well. They are now scared. Now listen to this. They are scared. Those that hate His Excellency Ambassador Professor Kenneth Umakama, certainly, they do have some genuine reasons to feel scared. Mm. Ken Uwakama so far has not only withstood successful, successfully the unrelenting barrage of attacks of calumni from far and near. He has also remained consistent, focused, and seemingly unperturbed. The fear that there must be a secret reason for his courage in the face of so much of a highly coordinated opposition. The fear that if they don't bring him down, he might somehow end up disturbing a grant funds. So the malice, name calling, and campaign of calumni are all unfounded allegations a fight to take Ken down, a means to a dark end. But they never thought of one reality that is fast dawning. It is the fact that Grant's community stakeholders are getting smarter by the day. I pray you keep getting even better. All right, stay calm, stay strong.
friends, your day will soon break into joy. And you see, they are scared. I, I take note of that word. They are scared. They are afraid that if they don't bring Ken down, he might somehow end up disturbing a grand funds. I think that is enough for you to take home. And uh, that's the fear of the evil plotters. It, it happened just in the day of Daniel. They are scared that if Daniel continues to pray, is he the only one that knows how to pray? The Bible said they went on a plot and plotted against him that nobody should ask of any petition from any person except from the king for the next 30 days. <laughs> they were scared. Something about him scares them. And in the innocency of the king, he thought it was a blessed, uh, 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 you know, a blessed plea or a blessed bargain. They constrained him to sign a campaign of calumny into law. And he did innocently. They were scared. But as he used to do, the Bible says he would always pray. Daniel will always pray. Towards the evening time of or evening sacrifice and oblation, Daniel will go into his house, open his windows towards Jerusalem and begin to pray. And as he used to do when it was time, never known what was plotted against him. He went back to his house around evening time. He opened his window. And as he knelt down, began to pray, the plotters were arrayed. They peeped through the window. They saw him praying again. They ran straight to the king. He has breached the law. We know the consequences of that action. They took him, sent him to the king. He was raided and paraded before the lions. He was thrown into the den. But he soon became the friend of lions. <laughs> <laughs> and for a whole day, a whole night, lions were his friends. Um, because anyone who is partnering with a friend with God, the Bible said God will make his enemies to be at peace with him. They may not want to be at peace, but somehow, somewhere, they don't have any way to bring him down. They are scared. The haters of Daniel soon became lion's meal. I think lions had a field day. They had enough for breakfast, enough for lunch, and enough for dinner. <laughs> when they were landing inside the lion's den, all the lions were smelling was lunch. They were smelling breakfast, they were smelling lunch, and they were smelling dinner. The Bible said the lions had a mastery of them broke their bones and destroyed their families you know there's something peculiar about haters not just about them alone their families goes for it so they aren't just care alone they are scared with their families with their plotters but i want us to remain calm uh the office of extra come i can also say that they are doing well uh, in the support of this grand disbursement, informations of this magnitude are supposed not to be hidden. They are trying all their best to bring up uh, information, strategic informations into the public layer so that we all can be fed by it. And uh, I want to thank you, those of you who have been patient all along, patient enough, patient enough to uh, see that this grant is disbursed it will definitely come to you what is yours would not pass you by just be patient it can't be farther than it had been it can't be longer than it had been it is sooner going to happen yeah 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 so put your hope alive uh put your trust in god and thank you for always coming by to our channel yes i must i must confess uh, i love you all must confess that you, you, you you're trying your best uh to keep the views on you're trying your best to subscribe on to share our videos we are seeing all uh, that you do at the back end of this channel thanks i must confess i'm grateful we are so thankful to you we're indebted to you to grow our community and this is to 
a benefit. This is a movement and this is a motivator that motivates us to be able to feed you more on the expectations that is at